happy VA Wednesday. So today we're gonna to be talking about when VA is not the best option. <gasps> okay, for all of you guys who watched me for a while, you know that like me even saying that is crazy because I love VA. However, it's not always the best option. And I think it's that we have to talk about this and we have to be open and honest about this. So in prep of this video, I was like, okay, what is a no brainer situation where I would not recommend VA? Okay, no brainer situation where VA does not win is if you're putting down 20%, you have a high credit score and you are not exempt from the funding fee. If you meet those parameters, VA is not the best option. And the reason is this, with VA, that funding fee, if it's your first time use, it's 2.3. If it's, excuse me, in this case, it would actually be 1.4 okay, because you are putting down more than 10%. So the funding fee at 1.4%, that's a big chunk of change. And even though rates on VA are lower, often with conventional, for less you could get that same rate if you're in that 20% bucket that I'm describing, as well as with the high credit score. Also, will it make you more competitive? In certain situations, yes. Okay, in certain situations. Now, I do have to say, we do see offers get accepted just because people are military over multiple offers because we do have some actual patriots in this country. Yay, they still exist. Um, but from where I sit, you know, in that situation where you're gonna have that funding fee at play, it doesn't always make sense. If you're putting 30, 40, 50, 60, you know, Often I'll see retirees where they're gonna be putting down huge amounts of money and conventional often is a better choice at that point, okay? Now, where does VA absolutely always make sense? The lower down payment categories. So 0%, 5%, even 10% with VA, there's no mortgage insurance and that's what makes it so appealing. The low rates and the mortgage insurance. Now. If you are doing 20% down and you're exempt from the funding fee, which is better, VA or conventional? Well, VA is gonna have the lower rates. So if you went by a purely mathematical, okay, situation, you would go to VA, okay? Now, if you're like, oh, but my realtor, conventional still is gonna be competitive, but VA is often gonna be better. If you get into the super hyper jumbo train, let's say you're doing a $2 million loan and you're putting down a million dollars, um, in that case, probably basic jumbo will be better than VA. Okay, and that's because you're gonna get a very aggressive rate and with where the market is right now, sometimes those jumbo lenders will beat VA because they're suddenly back into the play, okay? But you wanna weigh it out because it's gonna depend on your credit score and everything else. So really, as I sit here, I'm just, I, I'm digging. I'm like, what? <laughs> Guys, I should do more prep for these videos. But I'm like, when else would VA not be the right choice? And it's like, you know, people would go, well, if the house needs work. Uh, I mean, conventional is not the best option for that either. The best option for that, if the house really needs work, is a renovation loan. So, and they, we do, not my team personally, but there's a gal at Guaranteed Rate that does VA renovation loans up to 50,000 now. So if you guys are looking for that, let us know. We'll introduce you to Christine. But I'm just sitting here racking my brain as to where else VA would not be the best option I don't really have any great ones because here's the bottom line. And this is what I think so many lenders don't understand. So I think the biggest disconnect in VA lending is that lenders don't understand that if you're doing five or 10% down, that VA funding fee gets reduced. Okay, so for subsequent use, like using your VA for a second or third time, the funding fee can be quite high. And that would be something where you'd go, oh, well, if it's subsequent use and they're doing 5%, conventional is better. No, actually not, because if you do 5% down, that VA funding fee drops to 1.65, and if you weigh that against mortgage insurance, that's still gonna win. So really, what we got from this video is there's one situation where VA is not necessarily, and I say not necessarily, the best option, and that's if you're putting over 20%, you're not exempt from the funding fee, and you have really good credit, okay? Anything else, VA is gonna win. 
it's gonna win guys. So I hope you're doing well. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if anything, it probably made you more confident in your choice of a VA loan because I literally just sat here racking my brain on it and that's all I could come up with. So make sure that you guys understand how the funding fees work. If you are exempt from the funding fee, VA always wins. Okay, it's that simple. But if you're not, know how that funding fee chart works so that if you're talking to a lender who's not as experienced in VA, you don't get tricked into thinking that, hey, if you put down 10%, the funding fee is still gonna be 3.65 on a purchase. That's incorrect. If you're doing 10%, it would be 1.4% as per the current VA funding fee charts, which you guys can look up online on VA. Always good to double check the information I give in these videos as these videos are made as a moment in time and things change. So I'm licensed in 48 states to do mortgages. My phone is ringing, so I got to go right now, but I look forward to talking to you guys and I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching.